G'day guys, we've got a projectile motion question which is a variation of a projectile motion question that I've done before. What we've got is we've got a plane that's travelling horizontally at 250 kilometres an hour. That is 235 metres above, um, well his altitude is 235 metres. What happens is just before he drops the package, he goes into a dive with an angle of depression of 15 degrees. We're asked to figure out how far before the island he drops the package so the package goes safely down to the people on the island. So like the other one guys, what we're going to do is we're going to figure out what each of our component vectors are that the plane has initially just before he drops the package. So I've drawn this vector triangle here for you. So what we've got is we've got our 250 kilometers an hour or 69.4 meters a second which is this component here in the dive and that can be broken down into that times the cosine of the angle and that times the sine of the angle. Cool, so the first thing we're going to do guys is we're going to figure out how long it's going to take this package to fall 235 meters to the ground. So to start with we're going to use this formula here where we have distance equals the initial velocity times time plus half times acceleration due to gravity times time squared. Now we can just enter in what we know. So the distance it has to travel is 235 meters and that's equal to its initial velocity and that's going to be in the vertical direction which is equal to 69.4 sine of 15 degrees. So let's write that in. We have times time plus one half times acceleration due to gravity times time squared. Cool. And when you solve that using either a quadratic formula or a calculator with um, graphing facilities or just solving facilities, you'll get a time, guys. Well, you get two solutions. One will be negative. So we're just going for the positive time one because that's the one that makes sense is 5.331. Cool. So once we've done that, guys, that's going to tell us how long it takes for this package to fall from there to there. So once we've got that, we know that the, if we haven't got any drag, the uh, velocity in the horizontal direction is going to be constant. So all we're going to have to do is work out how far this package is going to travel with this horizontal velocity for this particular time. So we're going to use the basic formula, S is equal to VT, where so S is going to be equal to the velocity which is 69.4 cos of 15 times time which is 5.331 and that gives us a total distance of 357.4 meters. So guys all that happens when you change the angle of inclination of the plane as it's dropping the package the only thing that changes is we're going to add an initial velocity in the vertical direction we're going to add this one here because this one wasn't here when we have a plane that's going along at zero degrees like this. However, when we start changing its direction, going down like this, we start to introduce a vertical component to the velocity. So as a result, we're going to add a downwards component of the velocity. And what that's going to do is it's going to shorten the time that it takes for the package to hit the ground. Again, as a result, we're going to have to probably throw the package a little bit later um, so this distance here was ended up being 357.4 meters. Cool. So I hope the video helped, guys. If it did, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you've got any questions on the video, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comments section below. But until next time, guys, there's a myriad of different ways you can do these particular projectile motion questions. Um, so I would suggest just practicing, practicing, practicing. Eventually the uh, pattern will um, show itself and it'll make problems in the future a lot easier. But again, like the video if it helped, subscribe to my channel and I'll hopefully see you guys again soon.